Hey there, lovely soul. Infinity here with our Crystal Medicine Oracle deck reading for the collective. This is for you if you're watching this. This has nothing to do with any particular sign. Uh, this is just the collective message that I got for us. And I'm going to go over it a little bit right now. And then I'm being guided to sit privately and really get into these messages, go through the book and get these messages down and then come back. And before I do the meditation for the full moon is to actually give a little uh, review of what all this is. So let's start here with creativity with fire and big spite and that's card number seven so there's that and then healer card number 14 so shaman shamanka and new might with card number 14 then rebirth with spring shiva lingam and 20 that's card number 21 here's a shiva shiva lingam right here absolutely love this crystal so interesting, 7, 14, 21. So we're going by sevens here, which is interesting. Then after healer and rebirth, which these two coming in back to back is really interesting to me because these two things very much go together and we are in springtime now and we are with this full moon lunar eclipse going through uh, a rebirthing a real for those of us that are on the evolution path and ascension path definitely rebirth is being um uh highlighted for the theme of what's happening okay so then we got dance with rattle and boulder opal with card number nine and then challenge with lightning and fulgurite, card number five. And then retreat with mountain green calcite, and that's card number 24. And so to review these three, it's like with the rebirth, we're going to feel so much lighter. And this is where dance comes into play here that like he like it's looks like there's one foot on the ground yeah but it's in those red the rattles are on the the ankles here so really uh moving the body after this rebirthing energy just feeling very very light and happy i'm hearing connecting with the fae the fae really liked likes to get us to dance so especially after this full moon or on this full moon, if you're feeling like dancing, definitely get into dancing uh, and just tap in with your surroundings and see if you feel like the Fae are, are around you. You usually feel giddy, giggly, silly, happy, those types of, of emotions. And then we have challenge right after dance and then retreat. So, and with that lightning, so challenge with lightning and uh, the fulgurite card number five. So also five represents change and change is definitely happening with rebirth and everything kind of, uh, I also hear like finding rhythm, finding synchronicities, um, being ushered into a new way of feeling your energy with this dance card. So that's also, but that's, that's that lightning. And that presents a lot of really crispy energy for the collective to process for each of us to process. But you also see there's the ocean and all that water and it's not crazy. It's not a crazy thing going on there in the ocean. It's really rather quite calm. So what this is saying is where there's a lot of energy on the outside and inside trying to blend together. We need to find that calm with the water element within us because we are mostly water. We're mostly water and energy. This is truly like, what are we? Water and energy for the most part. That's what we are. And so the challenge is going to come from the, this rebirth that we have that's coming in after 
we are getting on a healing path. Now I'm a shaman. And um, so if you're watching this, it's a good chance that you are being guided towards healing in some way, whether it's working with me directly or somebody um, or somebody else or being guided to the information on my website uh, with eBooks and that sort of thing. Uh, my astral guided meditations, uh, there's a lot there, but it's imperative to understand that with this dynamic ha happening and creativity starts us off with um, getting a lot of incoming, see that fire, fire, a lot of incoming energies uh, really firing up our base chakra, really wanting us to um, shift. And you see how that big spite is coming out and it's like, this is what's happening. This is part of that rebirth, this energy erupting from deep within, as you see here, uh, what's going on here and, and deep connections that, uh, that heart in the fire showing us that we have passion in ourselves and in, in us so really these uh so this is fire the, the so fire is also you know part of us in us um in when it comes to energy and here we have lightning and that's challenging right lightning is going to be challenging energy because it goes in so many different directions all at once and um, that's what's so cool about it, but it can be challenging. So what are we seeing right after this? Retreat with card number 24 with mountain and green calcite. Card number 24, really speaking to, uh, and, and mountain speaking to higher perspective and uh, alone time, solitude, feeling the wind, uh, the air. So it's interesting how we have fire and then water. Even though we're seeing this with lightning, there's so much water here with the ocean. And I'm being, it's even more so than, yeah, the lightning, but pay attention to the water. And then here it's retreat. It doesn't mention air, but that's what I'm feeling here is another, the other element, air. And I live in the mountains and trust me, um, you feel a lot of air up here, a lot of wind, a lot of breeze coming through in all different um, temperatures and and forces and what it does to how it makes us feel and uh and how it, it helps us to clear energy okay next card going within with um with inner world and boji stones and if we see here closely uh, there is an infinity symbol there in the center, and that is a really good uh, indication of what it means to go go within. Is to really in card number thirteen, uh, a very powerful number here, and going within really takes us to that infinite um, understanding of ourselves. My spirit name is infinity for a reason. And that is to help not only remind me, but everybody who knows and says my name that their own infinite nature, their own infinite soul, that's what that's about. So going within is about understanding more and more, connecting with your soul, connecting with that, that uh, forever and always energy that once you go within, you'll understand how we are never truly alone. And that go happens from the inner world. And I love how it's this path in through this tree. Absolutely beautiful. So next card that came out was self mastery with spider and card number 27 with topaz. So this card here with the spider is all about deconstruction and reconstruction. We got that 27 here. So that's also a nine speaking to, and it's right below this. We'll get to that in a minute. The I am presence. It's right 
next to going within and it's on it's in the center of soul retrieval so you have a really um awesome pattern here with these um and then rebirth so if you look at the way this is lined up rebirth self-mastery going within soul retrieval and then i am presence in the center we'll get to in a second but i couldn't move forward without showing this pattern how important this pattern is right here rebirth uh i am present self mastery soul retrieval and going within so let's dive into self mastery here for a second uh with this spider this spider is about uh really taking things as it comes and being in the moment. Uh, spiders are about the deconstruction and reconstruction of their space, their webs. Uh, it is the, the image, the, the totem for the universe and how everything is connected. I always see spider webs and webs, they just the, the, the matrix, the web that, of of all life and of the universe in timelines and lifetimes so the spider is such amazing and beautiful energy to get here with self-mastery this is about uh and right next to going within an inner world and connecting to that infinite soul and self-mastery is like these two things it's like this is what if we get into into the inside, then on um, then mastering ourselves on the outside, um, connecting to the universe in such a way and ourselves in such a way that really shows us uh, the the control that we have and what is illusion and what is real and what how so much is impermanent and that's really um all about like what the spider lives every single day and just works on keeping you know every single day is is a like starting fresh for a spider and they they're never done with what they're doing and neither are we okay then we have soul retrieval with middle world so we have over here inner world and then middle world with soul retrieval card number 29 the galena stone or crystal and this is about like we were just talking about the the getting into connecting with your soul. Soul retrieval is about really integrating that soul into your uh, into your being. The soul integration happens when you can um, move up from the inner and into that that middle world and connect the two and and have a retrieval of soul, soul consciousness, soul understanding, soul story. And it's interesting how we have soul retrieval right under healer. And as a shaman, as a healer, we work on connecting the soul, the soul evolution, um, getting information from the soul in so many different ways. But that is definitely, these two together are so, uh, such an integral part of healing, of working with yourself. Okay, and then last but not least, we have celebration with sacred ceremony and red jasper, card number four. So with this, it's interesting because these, you can see all my cards are underneath there. And I was just, I was just getting ready to to actually do a video and start pulling cards for the collective that's what i was guided to do and um but i was just mixing them up here and then i just spontaneously felt like picking one up and turning it over and this was the card that came up and i was like oh cool i love that and so i just stuck it back in the pile and then a few seconds later is when I pulled this one, creativity, and then I pulled healer and rebirth, just boom, boom, boom. And I was like, oh, I am supposed to be picking cards right now. Interesting. And so I was like, huh, I wonder if that celebration card is going to come up. And then I just started 
pulling the rest of the cards and then was told to put them in this clockwise uh, formation here with celebration being the last card, creativity being the first card. And this is how they sat for a few, um, oh, maybe a minute or two. And then this card was upside down, but right in the center like this. And I was, it was like somebody just went, pick that up. I went, okay, that'll be the last card. So I turned it over and we get, I am presence. So I am presence, cosmos. Uh, and there is that, uh, that person meditating, we see all those chakras lined up, connecting to the universe um, in this amazing, it's like sitting in a crystal. We've actually done meditations like that before. Card number 15. Uh, and so that I cannot, I mean, I couldn't pick these cards. I always say this, it's like, I can't, I couldn't sit here for, for five days going through the book and picking out cards and what order they should be in. Uh, if I, you know, if I really tried, these just feel so on point with the energy and what's going on. Uh, and this being in the very center, just perfectly ready to, to turn over. And in the center, like I said, of rebirth, self mastery, going within and soul retrieval, uh, and starting off with creativity, it's just like this, this energy is so much about feeling that fire within and what it's going to inspire you to do the ideas that are going to come up. And that doesn't just mean, you know, in a creative way, it means in a way for your entire life. And then healer is right next to it. So it's like, listen to your inner guidance, that fire that wants to propel you forward and, um, and shift the energy from, from the root chakra, the, that fire energy always feels like, you know, root and, and sacral, but really feeling that from the top, from the bottom, like let's start here kind of thing. And then of course, you know, healer being right next to it. So it's kind of like, feel the energy propelling you forward in a creative, different, maybe new way to, to move into the future. And if you really want to ascend, to connect, to be more healthy, to be uh, more motivated, uh, to feel better within your body, you're definitely going to need to do some healing. Everybody does. We all do. Uh, and however you're being guided to pursue that for yourself, you know, do that. Um, and don't, if it is working with this is very specifically talking about shamanism because this is a very, this is very deep energy here that, that is wanting to come out, you know, rebirth is deep and it's right after the, sh the healer shaman card. So that's really where it's pointing you, but you can start with, you know, just getting Reiki and, um, just clearing out the superficial energy. If that's where you're guided to, or, you know, start going and thinking about working with, with uh either myself or somebody else that you're guided to but but shaman healing is very deep spiritual soul-based energy um working with your spirit guides your ancestors uh angelics uh spirit animals all this kind of stuff so it just really depends on on where you're being guided but that would that is kind of where this is going here it's saying the collective is being um, kind of this fire from this Sagittarius full moon right now is lighting people up for healing, for transmutation of energy, for connecting, for, for getting deep spiritual. This is, this is, isn't just like clear energy. It's healer with a shaman. Shamanka is like the female. I still say shaman that I'm a shaman because a lot of people wouldn't know shamanka, but, um, and new might is the, the healer's stone. It's a really powerful crystal. Actually, I'm going to be getting soon. 
but this is this is really speaking to this rebirthing coming up and this whole year um well this let 2020 and then 2021 really it's like 2020 was the pregnancy 2021 is the birthing of us in a new way and uh of course again dance is right behind right after it uh and like across here from celebration uh so these two energies are very positive very happy like we're happy to be rebirthing ourselves and and coming into a new place of being uh we're going to feel light there's going to be a lot of energy that we will be challenged because when we're when we come into a new place of being we have to learn a whole lot of new stuff about ourselves and the world and how specifically energy works with us. Lightning is a great signifier and symbol of that. So we need to stay present, be in solitude, go into the mountain area, be in the forest with the trees. Um, I wish it showed more trees here because that's, um, it really is not showing hardly any trees with this mountain. It's interesting, but, um, and some mountains are just rocks, but a lot of mountains are just filled with trees as well. Like the one I live on. So you're, you're being asked to really take these deep messages to heart. This is really telling a story here. When you go, when you retreat, you're going to go, it's going to be easier. See, here's your tree. It's going to be easier to go within, to connect with the deep sacred uh, forever and always wisdom of Gaia and of the Fae. And, you know, they're coming, they, uh, it's interesting because I, I felt that energy earlier when I tapped into this dance and, and they were showing me how they're really inspiring people to, to dance and to connect with the, their bodies in that way and going within is directly uh, below that. So very interesting. I, I love the placement of how these cards ended up here. So, uh, so here we are with our cards. Once again, creativity, healer, rebirth, dance, challenge, retreat, going within, soul mastery, soul retrieval, or self mastery, soul retrieval, celebration, and I am present. So this is so deep. So, um, and we wouldn't be getting these messages for you. Uh, if you're watching this for the collective, for whomever is watching this, we wouldn't be getting these messages if it wasn't something that, that you were ready to either continue on or start this process in a very much more intense way. And that's really what this uh, full moon is bringing through. So I am, so that's just like my initial interpretation and what I'm getting when I'm picking up on these cards and connecting with them. Uh, and I am gonna spend some time delving a little deeper here. I will be back in a little bit uh, with the meditation for the full moon lunar eclipse, although it already happened early this morning, I was guided to wait until today to get into this stuff. So we're in that 100% zone. I think we're just at 99% moon right now. 100% was last night. So we're in that 100% zone still very much. And so just take in these energies, these messages so far and see what you feel about them. And again, I will be back with a channeled guided self-healing meditation for the full moon here on May 26th, 2021. Have a beautiful day. Till later. Bye for now.